Welcome, Mike Martinez, and today I got the pleasure of interviewing my mentor, Mr. Art Latanzi, who got me involved in the business of being a public adjuster. Uh, Art, thanks, I appreciate you taking your time. Uh, we're in Art's office, uh, and Art, you started with the company 19 years ago, right? And you're still excited, you're still very active in the company. Why is that? Well, uh, the income helps. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, and, uh, and what's nice about the income, it's done in a very limited time as far as uh, the time that I put in for the return that I'm getting is like I've never seen in anything that I've ever been involved with in my entire life. Right. And, uh, and I've been involved with businesses in my entire life. Right, right. So, uh, Art, uh, you are leading now a team across several different states, right? Yes. Um, and is that a challenge? Uh, do you find it, you know, what's well, the experience because, here? Uh, It's nice to be able to travel around the country. Uh, you know, I've been working in uh, metro areas uh, from Georgia on up through South Carolina, North Carolina, Maryland. Of course, all the way through the state of New Jersey, all the way through the state of Pennsylvania, mm. Ohio, Illinois, uh, and it's a great opportunity to be able to meet other people in other parts of the country. Yeah. What do you think is, is the biggest challenge for a new person coming into the business? Probably the biggest challenge is learning how to talk to people directly. Mm. Uh, this is definitely a one-on-one -on -one type business. Uh, I. I don't think that you have to be a expert when it comes to social media in order to be successful in the business, but it's really a simple business because all you need to do is be able to talk to people. Right, right. And and what do you think is the best qualified person? Is there anybody that that best suits that that uh you know that ability to be a, a, a runner, or somebody successful right right off the gate? Well, I think it's the passion that really drives people to be successful in this business um, because they're able to get into a business um, really without any investment at all. Mm. And also, since all the training is done in-house, they don't have to worry about going to outside sources, outside schooling uh, to become a public adjuster. Right, right. Now, th that's a good point about the training. Uh, you you were a real estate agent, uh, a real estate broker, right? right you had three yes. brokerages before you started uh, being a full-time public adjuster. Was there uh, an advantage to having that type of profession and then uh, becoming an adjuster? There was an advantage due to the fact that it wasn't hard for me to talk to people. Okay. Uh, because definitely in the real estate business, again, you need to be able to talk to people one-on-one. -on -one. But other than that, uh, you know, just the, the experience of already being an entrepreneur uh, was probably very uh, instrumental in me becoming successful in this type of business. Yeah. You know, I, I have a lot of, uh, uh, to be grateful for Art. Uh, like I said, he's my mentor, brought me into the business. Uh, I've learned a lot by him, just by observation. Uh, he teaches a lot, but I, I've learned just by observation. What would you say to somebody that's looking at this video right now that may be contemplating uh, joining uh, as a public adjuster? What would you say? Well, if you're ever looking for an easy opportunity to become your own boss, to have your own business, I don't think there's anything, anything in the world that's any easier than getting into this type of business. You don't need any money, you don't need any experience, and you just need a few hours a week. You can't get any simpler than that into owning your own business. Best kept secret in America. I believe so. Yeah. Thank you, Art. I appreciate your time. My pleasure. Thank